Hey guys, uh, someone suggested a tutorial, and I thought it's a pretty interesting one. It's how to show a message only once to a user. Now, in this case, um, since I'm just showing you a, one way of doing it, we're going to be doing it based off IP address, not actual user accounts. I'll show you how to do that, but I'm not actually going to do that here because that requires a whole user system that I don't feel like going from the ground up at the moment. So let's go through IP addresses. Um, first and foremost we need a database because we need to we need we could store a cookie okay we could store a cookie but once that person's cookie expires or they clear their browser cache or they clear their cookies then um, that won't then they'll get that message again so we're just gonna use a database because you're probably using a database already so we've just got a blank database called test with a table called visitors and all this does is when someone comes to the site if their IP address is not found in the database it's gonna store it in the database okay and we're gonna write that that's not exist so let's start with PHP tags Okay, and then first thing we need to do is uh, connect to the database. Okay, that's the first thing. Then we need to get uh, the current IP address, right? And then we need to say check whether the IP address is already in the database, right? That's the next step. And then we've got to say okay. Um, then we need to say if it was not found, then what are we going to do? Uh, we need to set the set some variable to one for use in JavaScript because JavaScript is going to say if something then display the message right and if not then we're going to say um, if it's not true as in um, the IP address is found okay then we're going to store this IP address okay address so that's the that's what we're gonna do. So let's start connecting to the database. We're gonna say MySQL underscore connect and then our host is localhost. Our user is root, our password is root. Then we need to connect to the database, so select underscore db and our database is called test. Okay. Get the current IP address. We're gonna store that into a variable called IP adder, because we're programmers, we like to write short things. Then that is underscore session. Uh, IP, un or sorry, not IP, remote underscore ADDR. That's how you get the IP address of a user. Now we're going to say check whether the IP address is in the database or not. So we're going to store that new variable called res for result. And that's going to be equal to MySQL underscore query. We're going to do a query. And basically what we're going to check for is we're going to try and select, we're going to try to select that IP address. So we're going to say select IP underscore AD ADDR from visitors again that's the name of our table where IP underscore ADDR equals in quotes because it's a var char as in it's not an integer so it has to be in quotes um, and that's going to be equal to our IPDR okay that we're going to try to select it so res may or may not have results so if it does have results we'll have some number of rows returned by our database so we're going to say we're going to reset the variable res as uh, MySQL underscore num rows of that original res variable. What this is going to do is if this can find an IP address, then this will return one, as in one row. If this does not find the IP address, as in it fails this where condition, this will return zero. Okay? So then what we're going to say is if not casting as a boolean, and I'll explain this in a second, res do something. Well, I guess that would be here. Do something else. Do something else. Okay. Um, right. Ignore my spacing at the moment. So, what does this mean? Why am I doing this? Well, potentially, if something screws up, this could be equal to two or more. Okay. You don't have to do the casting of the boolean here. You could just do if not res. But uh, whenever I am working with something that's not already true or false, as in this could be any number, one through a million, okay, or it could be zero, or blank, or false. Because we have all those different things, I always like to typecast, it's called, when you change the type. This is currently uh, a type um, integer, okay, it's not a boolean. And I need to test whether it's true or false. That's why I'm casting it as a Boolean. Again, this is just a little mini lesson involved in here. You don't actually have to have the Boolean, but it's good practice when you're doing an if clause on something that's not already a Boolean to make it a Boolean. So, if not, as in if there was no results, 
then we're going to set some variable so we're going to call that um, show message equal to one and again we're setting it to one an integer because we need to use that in JavaScript later we don't want it to be a string because the string zero is actually true in JavaScript so we're setting this to one okay then once we know that we're about to show the message we actually need to store that IP address back in the database so we're gonna do uh, store that back into the database right? so we're gonna say uh, mysql underscore query insert into visitors set IP on ADDR equal to again in quotes because we have a varchar not an integer to that IP address that we were checking so this is going to say we need to show the message and then actually save it so that next time we won't do it so now we have our else clause and in our else clause what we need to do is just set the, the variable to zero instead so message equals zero again we're using integers because if we did this that's technically true in JavaScript okay so we're gonna do integers so now let's actually write this JavaScript part so we finished with our PHP that's this is doing everything we wanted to do boom done so now we're gonna say now we're gonna write some code HTML head script type equals quote text slash Java script close our script close our head open a body close our body close our HTML in the script we're gonna say if something say alert you should only ever see this once boom done okay what's our if statement well we need to be if this variable so now we need to intermingle some PHP into some JavaScript it's very simple again PHP renders on the page so it's gonna render wherever I put it so if I put it here equals show message it's gonna put it right there it's gonna fill so it's either gonna be a one or a zero so it's gonna be the same as either saying one or zero which is the same as saying if true if false okay so this is gonna work perfectly so I'll hit save okay now I will refresh this page I should only ever see this once I get my message now I refresh my page and I don't get any message I can refresh this a million times and I'll never see that message again if we check the database and refresh we can see that here's my one and this is from earlier sorry about that you can see here's our row and here's our IP address again my local IP address is colon colon one I know it's kinda weird but my local but if you could do this online you'd have a bunch of real IP addresses here okay so I'm tracking the IP addresses it's here therefore it'll never be there again so I think I wrote IP address wrong <laughs> um, because I shouldn't be doing that hold on IP address IP address IP address IP address insert into visitor set IP address equals to IP ADDR oh that's why <laughs> sorry about that this is not underscore session this is supposed to be underscore server sorry about that underscore server geez where am I coming from let's delete those okay underscore server remote ADDR refresh I should only see this once refresh again refresh again and now we check the database and we see that's my IP address refresh that's my IP address if I delete this row I get the message again there's my message and refresh and now it doesn't come again okay so sorry about that mistake I didn't mean to do that but that's that that's there there you go that's one way to do it I'm tracking the IP addresses I'm checking if the IP addresses exist and then I'm using them when needed so again this is underscore server not underscore session there's no sessions in here sorry about that and lastly to reiterate you can use PHP instead of JavaScript because PHP will just render wherever it is